What's up, Multiverse? Dr. Dave and the Professor here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge and welcome to the second day of checking out some Star Wars Hot Toys. So who or what is this second one then, brother? So this is the Heavy Weapons Clone Trooper and Bark Speeder with Sidecar by Hot Toys. Yeah, that is that is quite a mouthful, isn't it? But as you guys can see, another speeder here and there is the Sidecar and I guess the Heavy Trooper, right? Yeah. But uh, again, it does just open up with this, um, I was about to say mechanism. It's not really a mechanism, is it? Flaps. Just flaps just kind of open up. And as you guys can see, we have an even more detailed, uh, what do they call these things? Inserts? Well, we always call oh, it an art, art insert. insert. I don't know if there's a particular term like for a it. Correct term. Yeah. And then, as you can see, is one of the, uh, I forget, what are they called again? The Soka's Troopers? Yeah, they were like... 332nd when Anakin split them yeah. from the 501st. He's in the sidecar. We've got the heavy trooper there. We've got that. I can't wait till this one comes out. I think that's going to look like Yeah, the ATRTs do look really, really Oh, is he cool like a to... different... Yeah, they have different like helmets as well. Was so... that the same as yesterday's one? Then? Yes. Oh, I didn't even notice that, to be honest. And speaking of yesterday, there we have Commander Apu. Apo. Apo. We showed that off yesterday, so there is a link to it if you guys wanted to check that video out. And then we just have another, I don't know, heavy trooper. It's just whatever. like the 501st trooper, right? The right 332nd. Yeah. And then, of course, the art insert does also just slip out to reveal tons and tons of plastic, as you guys can see here. Hard plastic, though, we have to say. Uh, with all the various different accessories, the speeder in the back, as well as the vigor itself. Let's just get this all out, guys, so we can take closer looks at it. Alrighty then, that is everything out the box. As you guys can see, there is a bit more than yesterday, a few more accessories, a few more bits, of course, with the sidecar. But as always, we will start with the bases. Once again, I always call it the, like the bog standard base, uh, I guess just to kind of display the figure standing if you want. We've got the plaque as well, which I think just says, what, heavy... Yeah, heavy weapons, clone trooper. Clone trooper, I'm trying to see that in the light. But yeah, just that bog standard with the crotch thing, whatever you want to call it. And then the kind of more intricate, more sort of interesting part of me, base. Again, I think it's the same one as yesterday, isn't it? That yeah, it looks right. Yeah, it looks almost identical. Yeah. I, I can't imagine they've produced different ones of the True. different sets. It yeah. still has to be mass produced for the price they offer. These Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we'll check out the speed. Uh, we'll may maybe do like an off-camera comparison as well. Uh, but yeah, just this kind of rocky moon-like terrain. So similar to yesterday's figure, we have six hands in total, two trigger hands, two gripping hands, and then the kind of two more open hands that are on the figure. But these obviously have a much more kind of aggressive paint job, so to speak, a lot more blue. And we'll, we'll kind of see that throughout the figure as well. A DC-17 blaster pistol, a DC-15S carbine, which is a little unusual because with this being a heavy weapons trooper, I would have expected a like a Gatling gun or yeah, one of the, the bigger whatever, blasters. But, whatever they're called, yeah. But I guess his main assault thing is the the pieces on the speeder maybe and lastly a satchel which may obviously contain his heavy weapons maybe he's more of an explosives expert than yeah a, uh... could be like a charge in there i think those like move don't they as well yeah they're only yeah they're not like stuck in there so they yeah. will come out if you uh if you guys you move them i assume little... they're kind of grenades but yeah they don't quite look like thermal detonators but i assume they they're throwables yeah so make sure you guys uh going kind to of be careful you might sort of drop them and i think well, I, I like pressed it earlier it's like a kind of foamy spongy sort of yeah inside, yeah so. all these things are just to yeah. just to give it a bit of a yeah i know the word you're looking yeah at, I, I can't think of it either. like realistic content yeah. kind like, of thing. like there's some volume to it yeah basically. exactly and here is the figure itself the heavy weapons clone trooper as you said earlier like there's a lot more blue right than uh on yeah there. exactly compared to the the commander apo figure obviously the the legs are, are kind of fully blue you still got that same sort of style of dusting there on the boots yeah so they... the weathering as well like chipped sort of paint and stuff from yeah exactly battles and war so we kind of go up again the usual um like under armor flight suit whatever the term yeah. is it's always like a nice fabric i always think they do yeah, a good job with that the uh single uh the holster the last holster holster yeah. there because obviously he doesn't have two yeah and uh then we come up on to like is that whole thing like a pauldron shoulder pauldron yeah i think so and obviously connects down to the belt which is a, yeah. yeah a bit of a different design i guess it's like that, again that seems kind of lever effect that they always do so well the other pauldron there just that kind of simple blue one and then obviously the helmet is like quite different again yeah it's more like a kind of commando helmet or almost more like a commander helmet like i would have 
kind of expected to be on the other trooper yeah. technically. It's yeah, right. like much more similar to um Commander Cody's yeah. phase two. Like even helmet. the I don't know if visor is the right word, but the thing Yeah, like a sun the eyes. I think it's like yeah. sun beam or whatever they call it. Is blue. And uh if you guys wanted to check out the back, I mean there's not really too much going on, I suppose. That normal uh design of the armor, maybe a jetpack or something, potentially backpack, whatever. Obviously, he has like a more of a side pack, I guess. Still haven't looked that up, so yeah, still not sure where that is. Some dirt marks there, which is pretty cool as well. The scuffing and all of that. Usual things that we see uh, on these clone troopers in their kind of everyday battles during the Clone Wars. And we'll give you guys a quick look at the bark speeder. If you wanted to see it in more detail, make sure you go and check out yesterday's video. We've checked off camera, it's exactly the same size. Uh, like, even the paint job was exactly the same yeah. wasn't it all like the scuff marks and whatnot but as you said earlier they've still got to kind of mass produce these things yeah right? exactly so, to individually paint them and scuff them differently yeah it'd be quite a as much as it would be nice because then you're like it does bring a bit of like individualism if that's yeah. a word but i do get it at the same time of course we have actually added on the guns i don't think we did show that off in yesterday's video uh, apart from the uh like poses and whatnot but um yeah, what more can you say? The speeder just looks really, really cool. And the new addition is the sidecar, is that yeah. what they call it? So just the sidecar, which, again, really nicely painted. Was there supposed to be like a emblem or Yeah, emblem maybe like an insignia that's yeah. faded away. I'm not sure if there's something different on the other side. No, same, same. Yeah. same. Yeah. Not too sure, but yeah, as you guys can see, the weathering, the scratching, the battle damage. Um, as with any hot toys, it, they... They're just on point with that kind of stuff. Um, you've got this like mechanism thing, or well, few mechanisms. Yeah, there. so obviously there's the piece that will actually allow it to, one of the pieces that will allow it to attach to the, the actual bark speeder. Yeah. So it can obviously kind of come out and kind of do a complete swivel, but will yeah. kind of show it up. Or like a full 180, I guess. Yeah, right? kind of thing. So attack someone from behind, something like that. And then, yeah, there's obviously the piece here where it actually connects, the other piece that connects into the cart. And then the front of the speeder actually kind of moves up and down, I guess, depending yep. on how possibility. And it does slot out the front, although it's a little stiff. A little bit stiff. And then we've got, um, obviously, I guess we'll show these pieces off to you guys in a second, but they kind of make up all the attachments, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Like how it actually sits on the stand. And and obviously, there's maybe let's check out the gun as well. So that's like the, um, just sort of sits on top. Uh, again, some... Pretty nice sort of detail there on it, uh, like posable with the grips. Yeah, so there's a bit of a right kind word. of different articula articulation there. Yeah, with the and it even like keeps with the colour scheme, right? With the blue, yeah. blue on there. But yeah, nice little gum. Even some um, is that some uh, yeah, like like searing, scoring, 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 yeah. scorching. Or, yeah, yeah, searing, looking, searing, whatever the word. Is. <laughs> you guys know what we mean. But again, yeah, just some nice detail on that. This is the connecting piece for the sidecar, which just kind of slots in underneath the pedal like that, and you, it's a little bit difficult yeah, to do it one-handed. I, I was going to say, we might have to do this off-camera. Yeah, but it will just kind of clip in there like that, and then this piece will kind of slot into the sidecar, so we'll get that in place. So this piece just connects and kind of pushes into the hole at the back of the speeder there, and then this piece slots in there, it kind of clips in, but obviously that piece can clip out because this spins round. Would you give you guys a kind of look there with it all attached? Yeah, I think it does look pretty cool. But as you said, we do have a few other little sort of pieces to, yeah. I guess, pose it. So we'll attach the gun to the front of the speeder. Which again, it's quite difficult doing yeah. one-handed. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. But yeah, that may need to be pushed down a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, but otherwise it... Just fits in on the top, as you guys can see. So tell me what these three clear plastic things are. So this, the main piece is basically a, a stability piece, because obviously, unlike the model yesterday, this has got a lot more kind of weight yeah. to it over the two things. So this will sit on the uh, the base like so. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, and obviously it fits into that, that kind of hexadecimal piece there. And will then obviously support the the speeder and the, and the sidecar kind yeah. of. So we'll put that on there in a second. These two other pieces are if you want to display the sidecar kind of with its 180 degrees, um, it can kind of spin around. I get you, yeah, yeah. To get, so it doesn't like hang yeah, down. Yeah, drop, so yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll show that off in a little bit as well. We'll put that together and, and show it in a pose that way. Yeah, which 
is now the perfect time, I suppose, to pose. Kind of made a bit of a rhyme there. Um, so yeah, let us kind of get a bit creative. In fact, make sure you stay around for the final pose because uh, you know what? You guys have probably seen it in the thumbnail anyway. Let's just roll footage. And well, there we go, guys. I mean, there's a lot going on here. I'm kind of hunched over yeah. uh, in a quite awkward position. Just to get a ring in the shot. Yeah, we just thought it'd be really cool. Like, I don't think we've maybe shown only one of these guys off before. I can't yeah, remember. I think we looked at Captain Vaughan on the channel yeah. once before, but yeah. None of the others, and we just thought it'd make like a cool kind of display. Well, like a, give you guys a shot of it. Obviously, displaying is a, is yeah. a whole other question. Uh, obviously, we've got Rex, we've got... Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. This was Captain Ap Apo. Apo, Apo. The heavy weapon weapons, trooper. Trooper and just a regular. Yep. 501st or 332nd. Depending on which is. helmet you want to have. But uh, yeah, really cool. Let us know in the comments section below who is your favourite clone trooper. Who's yours, by the way? It'd probably have to be Rex. It's got to be, isn't it? He's like. Oh, yeah. I, I've always liked Cody's look. Yeah. But like, he's not been involved obviously he was in the movies or at least movie at least had yeah had a named role yeah, in the movie, yeah. essentially but obviously bad batch we've got I yeah i mean the clone. the clone wars kind of made rex and was absolutely yeah, really yeah. The, one of the main and even tags. rebels like he yeah. kind of advanced his stories is he going to be in ahsoka i don't know if there's been a confirmation is it I actually confirmed there had been but yeah maybe, maybe not or is it just maybe rumors? it's a rumor not entirely sure. Alas, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with us here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated, and we hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, we have plenty more content on the way for you guys. More Star Wars, Fungos, Lego statues, figures, TCGs, all that jazz we love to play here on the Geek Lounge coming your way. Make sure you stay tuned for all of it and more. What is the easiest way to stay tuned, you ask? It's very simple. Subscribe. Hit click, smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.